Hello and welcome back to Calico Flower Studio. I'm Danny, and today I am going to make a mixed media collage in my handmade paper journal and share some thoughts with you about commitment. So take a deep breath. <laughs> I feel like that word comes with a lot of um, baggage maybe. So I'm here to unpack it and think a little more deeply on it and cultivate it in a way that serves who I wanna be as a person um, and how I wanna show up in this world. So sit back and relax and enjoy the process. And if you've been enjoying the process with me, then please subscribe. It really helps the channel, it keeps you in the loop, and it's totally free, so why not? All right, well, thank you so much again for being here, and enjoy. All right, so welcome back to the table. And today, in the spirit of my last video, which was all about inspiration, um, I have picked out some material that was inspired by a moment my cat, Clover, crawled into my lap as usual. He was cuddling with me, sitting in my lap, and I was leaned up against this yellow and white pillow on our couch. And, and his body against the pillow um, inspired me for a moment because I just loved the color combination that was going on. I just really loved the color combination of white, yellow, and black. So I picked out some white and yellow and black material. And I guess uh, in reference to my last video about inspiration, that little moment with him was like um, an example of a moment where I was sort of paying attention to what was around me and noticing how it made me feel and noticing that, oh, this is an inspiring moment. So I took a picture and I saved that picture. And then um, that was like my seed. And now I'm pulling it back out as inspiration to make something with it. So, and I thought I would just take today to talk about the next part in my 12 part series of um, what I want to cultivate in my practice. And this part is going to be about commitment, which it's kind of a scary word, right? But we'll unpack it and think about it and make some art. It's got fur and everything, check it out. <laughs> I love the frayed edges of this of fabric when it gets all like furry on the ends. It's like my favorite thing. Just like I love torn edges. When we think about commitment, are we thinking about like, what, what, what kinds of things do you think about um, someone committing to, you know, it's like, Oh, committing to like a routine or something or committing to a relationship or, you know, a job or 
You know, it's like can some, someone being committed to a thing. And when you commit to something, you have to stay committed. But I don't, you know, I kind of want to open that up. And think more deeply on that. Like, maybe shift the focus from the thing, the thing that we're committed to. You know, whether it's a project or a person or a, a place or a, an activity, a routine. And maybe shift our focus towards the reasons why we do those things. Because maybe that's more important. Hmm. This is a, a clean cut edge, so I want to make it more loose. I like loose edges. <laughs> kind of describes my philosophy towards a lot of things, you know, I don't... <laughs> I like things to be a little more loose and open and relaxed, soft, less defined, less hard. I think if we can figure out the reasons why we do things and we have a good reason, then it's much easier to, you know, those, those things that we're committed to come a little bit easier because really what we're committing to is a value that's driving us to do the thing. I feel like in the spirit of tending to a garden, understanding what our values are, committing to staying true to those values, it's like being grounded. I think of my values as my roots. They're what connect me to the ground and are the channel through which nourishment, meaning, fulfillment are delivered to me. And the things that I'm doing are the soil, those things, the things, <laughs> the activities, the, the routines, the projects, you know. It's important to pay attention to how the things we're doing make us feel and to notice when they don't start to not feel right anymore, you know? And when that happens for me, I start to ask myself, is this thing I'm doing in conflict with my values in some way. And if it is, how? And what can I do about that? I have an idea. So I do have a confession to make. <laughs> when I started this series of videos where I wanna explore what I wish to cultivate in my garden of the spirit of my practice of my life i was so excited and i felt yes this is something i'm going to do with great intention i will have the opportunity to examine these things that i wish to cultivate think more deeply on them and because doing this is so fulfilling and joyful for me, I thought it might be interesting for other people, which, you know, is like another kind of like secondary thing. Who knows, I thought maybe it'll resonate with some people. <laughs> and, uh, 
the last couple videos that I put out, that I published, um, really have not been seen very much. Um, did not really get the engagement that my videos usually get. And in fact, I actually lost some subscribers. <laughs> It's like, oh God, Danny, that's horrible. You poor thing. <laughs> it's not a big deal, but um, you know, I just being human. I was like, oh my God, no. Am I doing something wrong? Am I not meeting people's expectations of? what this space is and, you know, what I want it to be. And, um, you know, it's like, I was worried about it, but for a moment, but then I remember, and then, and you know, all the while I'm thinking about this, um, this project and, uh, Moving on to the next step, which was reflecting on commitment. And as I was thinking about it, I was like, you know what? I know why I'm doing this. And why I've created this space on YouTube in the way that I have. Why it is the way it is. And uh, I understand that it's it's not like a, a channel with a bunch of art tutorials and how to's, you know, how to do this or how to do that. This space for, the space I'm creating is a little different. Um, definitely different than what you might see on like TikTok or Instagram. It's, it's slow, you know, I, I think like, and this is me sort of connecting back to my values and my, um, my reasons for doing this. And I don't know that I've really shared this explicitly on here yet, but I really feel like in the media sphere, we really, as a society, need more contemplative, slow moving, calm, long form content that, I hate that word content, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, things that make us slow down and think and reflect and um, give us pause, maybe slow our heart rate and notice our breathing. And with that said, thinking about, oh my God, I lost five subscribers, maybe even more than that. Who knows? It's like, well, that's okay. If you're here, thank you. I am so glad you're here. I hope this is everything you expect it to be and hope for it to be. And if it's not for you, it's not what you need, I respect that. But I will not bend myself towards what may be more algorithm friendly or what will get the most engagement, which is sometimes that, that quick, you know, fast moving <laughs> content. Um, you know, because I really believe in this. And I will stay committed to that belief and that value of 
needing spa more spaces like this where we can slow down and process life and think about things deeply. And of course, encouraging people to do that through the lens of creativity and flow and art and mixed media is the way I do it. That's the way I do it. This is how we do it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm at peace with that. I had to really think about like, well, what feels the best in my heart and in my soul and in my vision for how I want to show up in this space that I've created. And this is so, this example of evaluating reasons for doing things is very simple. I know that when we think about the things that we do and what we're committed to, it may feel a little less simple than that. You know, like one may feel that it is a privilege to um, be able to uh, have that much control over what you do and, and to follow your, your values and um, your principles and all of that. Like sometimes we may feel trapped in our commitments, even if they no longer serve our well being, because, you know, we have no other choice or we don't have as much control over the situation or, you know, whatever. And I, re I understand that. I, I understand. Sometimes we got to do what we got to do to make ends meet. But I also do want to say, don't dismiss these words before sitting with them because, um, I don't know, it's, you may, if you really think hard on it, if it's worth it to you, if the situation really is pushing for you to evaluate thinking things, consider asking yourself, do I have more control than I think I do? Will, will my life really fall apart if I let go of this one thing? I've had to ask myself these questions and they're not easy. I won't pretend they are. But sometimes if you're asking yourself, if you find yourself asking yourself these questions, then I think it's worth your time to really consider, you know, shifting. And that's another thing too, when it comes to commitment, like just being able to recognize and allow your values and your priorities and the things you do to change, you know? It's like, I've heard of many people going into a certain career and after doing that for a while, a long time, eventually they started to notice how it was no longer serving them. And maybe they went into that career um, for really good reasons. And um, they did have that foundation of, you know, value that, they, that led them to that thing, that thing. <laughs> mm. 
But then over time, it changed. And then uh, we, ha we have to allow ourselves to change, you know? Give ourselves permission to change. <laughs> oh my God, I may need to stop collaging because I don't have any more glue. Well, it's okay. Actually, I was thinking about continuing this, but with some other media. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, this turned out kind of fun. I like it. I like it. Um, and uh, if you enjoyed this video and want to stick around for more parts in this series in which I cultivate or I think about what I intend to cultivate in my creative practice and in my life, then please subscribe to this channel and you won't miss a thing. I hope that you will find time and space to relax and reflect on what it is that you value and how it is that you can stay committed to those values in your life and in your personal practices. So thank you again and have a beautiful day.